Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Wodak the Gamer back again with another video. Now, today, there's one question I want answered by the end of today's video, and that is if the auto fire slash aimbot mechanic implemented into Fortnite Mobile almost 10 seasons ago is still worth it. When it first came out, it was one of the most controversial updates mobile has ever received. And since then, it's kind of been flying under the radar, especially these last few seasons with mobile ban. People really haven't been talking about it. So, as a pro mobile player myself, I'm going to be testing it out using the auto fire aimbot setting. And we're we're going to be figuring out once and for all if it is still worth it in Fortnite. So if you guys don't even know what the setting is or anything about Fortnite mobile fire modes, if I head to settings and then head to the touch and motion, at the top, you're going to see fire mode. It says select fire mode. If I click this, you'll see it'll pop up three different menus. The first one says auto fire, and this has always been the case. It's always been recommended. New people who play Fortnite mobile always have the same problem in common, and that's just shooting and firing and looking around. And basically, playing mobile is just really hard to start off, so they have a built-in feature called auto fire where it says weapon fires automatically when you aim at an enemy so you will see in a second but if you guys have never seen auto fire i literally look at someone and it automatically shoots i don't have to touch anything i don't have to aim in it is wild the more common ways for players to play though is with the dedicated button this is what i use and this is what pretty much every pro mobile player uses is the dedicated button you can be a lot more precise you can be a lot more intentional with your firing but auto fire has always been really busted in specific ways so i'm going to turn it off and I'm gonna turn I'm gonna keep my dedicated fire button on just in case I get caught in like a sticky situation but we're gonna be playing season six today on Android if you guys don't know Android still has the new latest Fortnite updates but due to the tablet that I'm playing on not being extremely powerful it's really why I've been playing on a PC recently one last thing that before we hop into the video guys if you want to support me in the Fortnite item shop and actually whoa it's the bottom left on mobile all you got to do is click the bottom left button type in code ducky and you guys are gonna be supporting me and you're also gonna get some wild luck because people use code ducky are just is very very lucky oh my god season six on android this is actually my first time playing season six at all on android and yeah this the the quality it's it's okay it's definitely not as tip top as i remember being it's not bad i mean obviously for android low graphics you're not expecting much but really right now this is uh just uh, it's a little bit yikes i'm gonna be honest anyways boys letting bony burbs aka Tilt the towers, you know the vibes. And let's see. Oh my god, that's auto fire, boys. That's auto fire, boys. Can I auto fire someone out of the air? There's no way. Oh my god. Starting off, I almost auto fired someone literally out of the air. For people who aren't familiar with auto fire, whenever you see the current yellow ring that is around my crosshairs turn red, that means the game is automatically shooting for me. That means I'm not touching the fire button. That means I'm not pressing anything that is initiating the fire mode. It is literally shooting for me. I'll try to get another showcase for you guys right now. Just creeping down these stairs. Where is he? Oh god. AR, this is perfect air type. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's on your building. Oh my god. Auto fire, it's still here, boys. Auto fire is still good. I mean, AR auto fire is really nothing special. It's always been like the SMG shoddy uh, auto fire. That's always been something to be like amazed by. So I'm gonna try to get up close real quick. Oh my god, okay. The shotgun just sucks. So 37, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Well, I want to see if I can get a purple pump this game. We'll see if we can get a spaz going on. Because if I can manage to get a spaz, I'm going to be in a lot better condition than trying to run around and use this crappy makeshift rifle. I will say, though, right now, for season 6 on Android, it really doesn't feel bad at all. It feels actually better than last season, like performance-wise. The frames are chilling out a smooth 60. This tablet can't get 90 FPS. But whenever I record using this tablet, 90 FPS is not an option, unfortunately. But I don't know, boy. I mean, maybe if I pop off this game and, and, and I'm not that bad on mobile anymore. Who knows? I could come back. I'm not promising anything, but uh, we'll just see how today goes. Wait, oh, someone's shooting a freaking bow at me. What in the world? Oh, see, it's, it, just because it shoots, like, it's not always guaranteed to hit. Let's see if we can get a... Ooh, that was rough. That I mean, my aim wasn't the best, but that was kind of rough. And yeah, auto fire, it doesn't mean that every single time it, it's fired, it's going to hit the opponent. That would be insanely overpowered. But it just gives people who are getting used to mobile a really easy way to sort of smooth themselves into the gameplay. But for someone like me, who's already a pro at mobile, and I've literally spent thousands of hours on this, it's always extremely interesting using these mechanics that are made for beginners because they just come with some insane benefits sometime but man I, I really gotta get a better shotgun this is just not acceptable right now oh no oh the shotgun just oh reload hello i was just like thankfully i'm running into a few bots right now because i guess it's my first game on like bro i, I just lost 90 shield because the shotgun is bad and auto fire didn't give me a you know a free 200 pump bro 
Oh, here we go. No, wait, whoa, where? Not bad. I will say, out of all things I've tried so far, the AR is definitely, definitely performing the best with auto fire. And for some reason, it's doing really well with the primal. The primal rifle for me usually isn't like a big damage doer, but it, it it's doing pretty well right now. I just really want to get like a blue or purple pump, so I'm gonna quickly mine some cars and get that. And then I've like we can really test out what this auto fire is made of. Uh oh, uh oh, I got my blue pump ready to go this time. Is he in here? Wait, what's going on? What is he doing? Oh my god, he's just above me. Hold up, I'm just gonna crank. Oh, this guy wants to crank as well. Dude, where'd he go? Oh, 37, not bad. Oh, I don't want to throw this. I don't want to throw this. I don't want to throw this. I'm gonna throw. Oh, I got the <laughs> I got the Elam because he fell off. Wait, where'd this guy go? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so nasty with the primal rifle. Whoa, screw the shotguns. Oh my god. Okay, that's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. Holy crap. What? Okay, either I'm getting, like, literally the world's best bloom, the world's best, like, luck. Okay, bloop was a... What's that? Okay, that's a primer rifle. I'm just making sure. Like, bro, the shotguns, I'm not gonna lie. That's a bit underwhelming. Oh, it's not detecting his head. See, like, that's the thing about auto-fire. They've, they've tweaked it a lot over the last few seasons to where it's not just gonna literally give you straight aimbot. Okay, I also don't want to get, like, headshot sniped, so gonna pop a few quick meds. But, bro, that was actual beams. Those were just straight beams. Oh my god, SMG, come on, come on. Oh, let's go! Thank god he was weak because that pump shot was so so he's have a purple pump? Oh, it's a P. Oh, I'll take a P90. Yes, sir. And then oh, it is a purple spaz. Let's go. Purple spaz. Look at this loadout. This is a mean looking loadout right now. If I can pick this up. And was that? Oh, the shockwave bow? Oh, I kind of want that just for some clips, bro. Yeah, I'm going for some clips this game, boys. I mean, so far, I haven't played mobile in seriously like a few weeks. And I like it, it is actually surprising. It is genuinely surprising right now how well I'm just performing. It's it's kind of crazy. Oh, what are you doing, bro? 60 that's not i think that was a 60 at least 30 primal rifle it's a bot i don't care i understand guys oh god oh god oh god i'm bobbing and weaving i'm bobbing and weaving just give me my primal rifle auto fire bro where is it like honestly because of the android like pixelation when it comes to the graphics auto fire right now is coming in handy a bit because it's just it's so nice to know like whether you're like actually aiming at the enemy for like a few pixels off like to the left or the right let's see it probably should be pushing down here right now let's see long range what do we got that's actually quite distant i will say i'm not really hitting any shots but it is picking up the auto fire which is pretty unusual. Oh, there's a guy behind that rock. There's a guy in the bush. Okay, this is where you go. Auto fire. You gotta shine. Aimbot, help me out. Also, auto fire won't shoot through builds as a little like heads up. So you have to spray through the builds. But once you spray through the builds, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did. I did most of that shooting right there just because it doesn't. Like, if it's like, listen, Epic Games knows this can easily just be abused like crazy. So they've tweaked it a lot over the last few seasons to where it's like, it's good and it's really good in some situations. But in most situations like that, you're gonna have to put a bit of effort in because they don't want all the pro players running around with just auto fire on, just beasting everyone. Like, that's, that's not fun for anyone. Oh my God. God, I just got beamed again. 27, okay. Through a bush? Oh my God, if it did it through a bush, that'd be so funny. Oh, he's on the run. He's on the run. Oh my God, and he's cracked. Come on, come on. Oh my, dude, it just like... Some of the beams of this, some of the beams are quite literally insane. Especially with, like if I, there's a scar, I'm gonna go pick that up. For, like the last few kills of this match, but like it's kind of wild. Like honestly, it's it's kind of impressive. Like this is not what I was expecting from this at all. I was expecting some like really broken, really janky, busted system that like passed for auto fire. But truthfully, it's kind of sick. They they've kind of done a lot of work at it. It's like really, like I said, really balanced in some situations, and then really you know just like medium mediocre and others and season six as a whole on android right now is feeling kind of nice i can't even lie oh there he is i was wondering where he is auto fire oh why was i not using a scar why was i not using a scar come on i don't i don't want to shoot let's go that okay that right there that scar beam a little disgusting a little disgusting up to like okay it's good it's good it's still good there there's been seasons where i've tested auto fire and it's been like slightly okay that's good the shotguns if like shotguns really shouldn't be good with auto fire anyways it's usually for like the automatic firing weapons smgs some of the pistols pistols have been really sick i wish i could have tried those out but the ars the primal and the scar 
just melted just beamed with this like i almost want to use auto fire over my regular form of combat but then if i button it, it's actually insane so if you guys ended up enjoying today's video as always if you did make sure you go and drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys knew with all being said it's been your boy like the gamer and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace